What's up tech enthusiasts? Welcome back to the channel where we break down tech tips to make your digital life easier. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing Windows 11 as a virtual machine on VirtualBox, plus some best practices to keep things running smoothly. Whether you're learning, testing, or just want to experiment with Windows 11, this video is for you. Before we dive in, here's what you'll need for this setup. The latest version of VirtualBox, link is in the description. A Windows 11 ISO file, also linked below. At least 4GB of RAM and 64GB of free disk space on your system. Once you've got that, you're good to go. Let's get started. Step 1, open VirtualBox and click on New to create a new virtual machine. Name it whatever you like but for this tutorial, I'll call mine Windows 11. Under type, select Microsoft Windows, and for version, select Windows 11, 64-bit, dot. Then, hit Next. Step 2, now, it's time to allocate resources. I recommend setting at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, but if you've got more available, you can go higher for smoother performance. For the processor, select at least two CPU cores, but again, the more the merrier. Step 3, next, we'll create a virtual hard disk. Choose Create a Virtual Hard Disk Now and click Next. I recommend dynamically allocated storage, so it only uses space as needed. For size, go with at least 64 GB to ensure smooth operation. Step 4, now comes the fun part, loading the Windows 11 ISO. Go to the settings of your new VM, navigate to the storage section, and click on the empty disk icon. From there, load the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded earlier. Step 5, start your virtual machine, and it should boot straight from the ISO file. Now just follow the prompts to install the language, time, and currency format. Then hit Next. Change the keyboard layout if required else hit Next. In the next window select Install Windows 11 option for a fresh install and click on Delete Everything Confirmation. In the next window enter the license key if you have or you can add it later after installation. Now select the Windows 11 edition you want to install. In the next window accept the license agreement. Now select the virtual 80GB disk and hit Next and then click Install. Now let the installation do its thing. Alright, while Windows 11 is installing, here are a few best practices to ensure smooth performance. Always allocate more resources if possible. More RAM and CPU cores mean a smoother experience. Install VirtualBox Guest Editions after the installation. This will improve graphics, enable full screen mode, and allow for better performance. Keep the VirtualBox and Windows 11 ISO updated to the latest versions. Step 6, Initial Setup After Installation Again select the country keyboard layout, computer name, Microsoft user account details and all other options shown in the video. Then hit Next. You may click skip or customize the various options. And that's it. Windows 11 is successfully installed on VirtualBox. Now, you can explore all the new features or use it as a test environment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with others who might be interested. 
And, of course, hit that subscribe button for more tech tutorials like this one. Let me know in the comments if you've successfully installed Windows 11, or if you ran into any issues. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.